So we made it to the flight, but we were the last to check in. So they had to find us another flight because a chair broke and gave us a $1,600 credit each. Um, yeah, I almost turned it up in there. But because I bought the flight on trip.com, we had no carry-on and yeah, a mess. Ah, we made it. Yes, and this is Mary, Matthew's sister. She's amazing. She came to surprise him at the airport. Such a sweet big sister. Well, our bags flew into a different airport, so we grabbed some food. By the time we arrived to Aguadilla, which was two hours away from San Juan, the airport representatives for JetBlue left. So we could not get our bags. We ended up randomly selecting a hotel, which was actually the first hotel in Puerto Rico, the Christopher Columbus Hotel, and stayed there for the night with Matthew and his family. So after we recovered our bags Puerto from the Aguadilla Airport, we way. drove back to Bayamon where his sister stays. I'm a realtor, so I wanted my boyfriend to capture all of the architecture of the homes and the area. It was really beautiful. A lot of, you know, locals, um, renters, and yeah, the, the space was, the, the architecture was really nice. Oh, look at the base. I had an idea, you know, I wanted to, I see myself definitely coming back to grab one of these properties as a Airbnb or just something to buy and hold, rent out to investors, because the property value is extremely low, and I'm not sure if it's because of the hurricane, but way better than New York. This is my old house. This is where I used to live. Y'all, he never lived in Puerto Rico. <laughs> so for the first night, this is my first outfit. It was giving Puerto Rico. It was giving Old San Juan. It was giving everything. Yeah, for the first night. <laughs> But yeah, I had to get high before I went out with the kitties. This is the fountain of, I forgot, but it was pretty cool. It was a one statue. And apologize for Rocky snoring in the background. But yeah, that was pretty cool. One time, two times, three times for the churros. Oh my gosh, yes. I have put some guava on mine. Um, I think a drizzle of some dulce de leche. Yeah. But um, that's probably Matthews with Nutella. Yuck. I would suggest going to the Patria, but we were very limited on what we can do since we had the kids. So we went to a underground barbershop slash bar that his sister's fiance used to work at. Here's my boyfriend trying to terrorize his nephew into showing a middle finger, but he's a good guy, so he didn't do it. After that, they went in and then we headed to the casino. Next morning, we had a full day ahead of us where we, you know, took the kids to go see horses, ATV riding, go-karting. Oh my gosh, it was so crazy. This is his niece. She is so cute, Ava. I love her. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. The ATV riding came up to $25 per person and it was $15 for the kid. I would definitely suggest having a local call and get some local prices versus, you know, um, Googling it and picking the first top two. That's why they give um, the money back to you for shopping because this one doesn't work. Okay. I snuck away to go take a couple pulls while they were joyriding around the park. I'm black as fuck, like I was saying. The shade is in the front of the park. 
So I was gonna go smoke in the front of the park. But you know, I'm black as fuck, like I said. So I'm gonna go smoke in the back, back of the bus. Yeah. Shortly after, we headed to Inyasco, an amusement park for the kids and us, <laughs> to do more bump cars and food. This is an accident that we saw on the way. It was crazy. I don't know. We pray if um, the, the people made it out safely, but um, it was so much smoke, we couldn't even tell. On the topic of driving in Puerto Rico, because we did rent a car, um, be careful because there is a thing where they don't stop at red in certain cities. And um, yeah, it caught me off guard. <laughs> it's a fucking racing car. Oh, shit. Since we were driving into the countryside, his sister insisted we get some fresh chicharron from these guys that are always here. Um, it was good. I don't even eat pork. Then we made another stop, saw this dope view, used the bathroom, got some empanadas. Here's us at the amusement park acting like kids. <laughs> I mean, it was amazing. This was in Añasco on our way to Rincon before we got to the Airbnb. Matthew got a burger with the fries. That was cool, it was out of car. Before we headed to the hotel, I got some mofungo because that was a must with some garlic or cream sauce. It was great, yes. By the time we got to Rincon, the sun was down and it was very scary. It is on a huge mountain, so it was very hilly. And if you're a nervous driver like myself, I would suggest coming in the daytime, for sure, because I did not even see some of the barbed wire protecting us from falling down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even gonna hold you. <laughs> we just landed to this Airbnb and <laughs> what can I <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? Well as far as it, it's beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. It's just fucking beautiful. But I'm so extra. <laughs> Niggas really had to drive up a motherfucking mountain, okay? A mountain. I had to drive up a mountain. And it's really crazy. And they got cats. Oh my god. Babe, the fucking cat is in front of the door. Oh my fucking. This fucking, like, straight cat. I think I got a hair. Oh my god, it's a cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> no, that ass. Let me show you. Let me show you. It's fucking cats, y'all. It's fucking cats. Get the fuck away from me. I'm gonna throw hot water on your ass. <laughs> you playing with me? You playing with me? I bet. Stop, no, bro. I'm just scared of No, he wants to put fucking hot water. We're not doing that. We're gonna have to chill. I will give y'all a preview of this fucking place early tomorrow, but today we're going to enjoy it. We're going to enjoy this place and soak it in for ourselves first. And yeah. So y'all get a tour tomorrow, but I just want to say that it's cats. It's not like a cat here, but you mountains. Um, very secluded. Yeah, it's, it's giving very much everything I needed. <laughs> this is the Airbnb, y'all. So cute. We love it. We left us some bug repellent, hand sanitizer, mosquito spray. Yeah. I told you they got real details, okay? They got us a little kitchenette, 
TV or do it, you know? We love it. It's so cute. Matthew was taking a shower, but luckily I got a video from yesterday. Here it go. Yeah, they did their thing, okay? Yes. I love a stand-up shower, especially for traveling. Um, and yes, details. It's the details for me. This is where I was sitting, smoking my weed. <laughs> super scenic, super peaceful. You heard roosters all day, um, but it was very nice, I must say. Even though I'm not a cat person, the view was like, do you see this? Breathtaking. For the first day, we had to try a couple beaches because, like I said, in Rincon, it's known for surfing. So we were in and out like the first two beaches. We started at Playa Maria's and had Caddy's Calypso. These burgers were amazing. I had mine with tostones. He had with his with fries. That's his Coke. I had a $9 margarita, Don Julio. Let's get into it. That was all Puerto Rico. In Rincon, we saw stray cats, stray dogs, stray cows, stray herds of cows. I don't have any footage of that, but yeah, here we go. This is one. So if you are staying in Rincon and you're looking for calm waters because you're a beginner swimmer and you don't want to swim in rough waves, I would suggest instead of Googling, you know, a whole bunch of famous beaches, I would look at the coastline on the Google Maps and drive to the nearest beach. That's what we did. We found one that was probably maybe 10, 15 minutes away. After the beach day, we decided to go to dinner. All right, another little secret. I don't know how to do makeup. And yeah, I ended up having to take it off because he begged me to. <laughs> we ended up going to dinner, but yeah, I wiped all of this garbage off my face because I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. We headed to the rooftop in Aguadilla, which was closed by the time we got there. So we went to the casino. After the casino, we ended up getting gas before we headed back to the airport. And this, they have the best. Puerto Rico has the best bakeries, period. Okay? Best bakeries, hands down. Fast forward to our last day in Rincon. That is where the Airbnb was. I put my first day outfit back on because I did not get the pictures that I wanted. And yeah, we had to flick it up right before we go. Headed to the airport, doing a last minute check before I leave the Airbnb to make sure there's no ashes or spliffs left around. And yeah, Matthew, I think he found one in the pool. Until next time. Hasta la próxima. This is really amazing, y'all. Like, I just need you to see this. This is like super amazing. Like, this is another sea show. But, like, y'all, come on, swim out of town. I mean, this is super amazing. So, this is like. Super nice. Here. Hidden hills. Hidden hills. Hidden hills. Just kind of want to show y'all. We're on the top of the mountain. People building Airbnbs. I had no time to stop for souvenirs, so I brought back pastries. Sorry. And it's a wrap. Like, comment, and subscribe for more trips, period. Thank you, guys.